You know, in terms of efficiency of projection of the voice, no one does it as well as a baby. And babies have a certain way of breathing, supporting, if we may use that word. You know, I don't like that word. I mentioned earlier, I like leaning is a much better word. I don't like the thought of holding something up because it's not Italian singing. Uh, so I'll take it back. I'll take the word supporting back and call it leaning because that's really what it is. So what do babies do? Let's find out. A baby breathes how? When he's awake, his stomach relaxes, and he breathes in his back. Now, I've had four of them, two girls and two boys. Pavarotti said he learned to sing watching his babies breathe, and every time they'd start to laugh or cry, their stomachs would jump outward, not inward. So you take a breath, and you go, ah, ha, 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 and the stomach jumps outward. And when they laugh, they go, <laughs> there are a lot of YouTube baby laughing babies on YouTube. You can listen to them and watch their tummies and watch what they do in their tummies. See, and no baby ever does this. Never. They're all this way. The corners of the back. I've got pictures of all kinds of singers over it, all kinds of babies right here, right? And there's a lot of great singers on here. If, if you look at the shape of the mouth, look at that. Look at that. Look at our Ella Fitzgerald's mouth, Joan Sutherland's mouth. Look at this. You believe these mouths, the shape of these mouths? They're all horizontal. Nobody. See, look at this. Here's a baby screaming bloody murder. Brand new baby just born. Look at that. <laughs> look at the tongue down, the corners back, and the upper lip is a straight line. So what we're trying to do is figure out what do these babies do and how do they do it, see? So their corners are like this. <laughs> no baby does this. <laughs> now, do babies focus? Do they go, <laughs> what do babies do? They go, <laughs> and it's on the diaphragm and it's in the back of the neck. Why do you think Joan Sullivan and Franco Corelli and Mario Delmonico and this endless list of singers talk about singing in the back of the neck? Caruso said in his book, the ah vowel is very far back and low in the throat. What's he talking about? Everybody's trying to get the voice forward, forward. Well, we're supposed to be getting the resonance forward, not the vowel. And that's everybody's, everybody's going, nya, 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 and all they're doing is closing the throat, closing the pillars of the fosses. Now, Franco Corelli in his master class, he said, American singer, singer like a singer to the straw. It's squish, squish, squish. Sing ah. Nobody wants to sing ah. The ah ends up back here. So Caruso said the ah bell is very far back and low in the throat. What was he talking about? Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. I can't even reach it. I can't even reach it with this. It's way down here someplace, and the resonance comes up and hits me up high. So if you're going to try to use baby uh, factors in your singing, you have to understand you have to breathe behind you, put the breath on your tummy, <laughs> and say, ah, ah, ah. Now, if I do that, how do I sing? Ah, ah, ah. What's that going to sound like? Ora per sempre, addio, santa memoria. What am I doing? See? Ah, 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 ah. So the Italian language is spoken the most like a baby's cry. Baby's. <laughs> And the Italian language is and they talk like that. If I'm going to speak English with an Italian accent, I talk like this all the time. I don't do this ever, never. No Italian does that. Even when they drop and speak dialect, they say, but it's still like this. Nobody does this. Where did this come from? People sing it today, use it all over the place. Baby phonation used to be a big deal in the history of singing. Go back here, I've got a treatise, 1721. He said, parents, do not change your child's 
crying. Let him cry. Don't stop him from crying because it will develop his voice and he will learn to sing the languages correctly. Right? And there was a whole discussion about castration. Don't castrate your children unless they are first examined by a knowledgeable voice teacher. Because not every child has a great voice. They must naturally have a huge chest. That was the first requirement. And you let them cry all they want because ah, 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 later will help them sing the languages correctly. Can you imagine today? And everybody's going, and burp, burp, right? So what we want to do is just be as, I hate to use the word, abused word, and natural as possible. And there's nothing more natural than babies. Millions of babies are born all over the world, and every one of them is a perfect singer. They all breathe behind them, lean on the diaphragm, and say, ah. And this is something for you to think about. So I say, ah, eh, e, o, u, wie geht es Ihnen? Como está vous? Como está usted? Que quieres hacer? I say everything in this ah, 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 ah position, and I don't do this, right? Okay. <laughs>